European monarchs have been known to step down in the past, yet Queen Elizabeth II and future British monarchs are very unlikely to follow suit. Royal expert Dr. Ed Owens told Express.co.uk that two situations may see an exception to that rule. At the age of 95 and having just marked her platinum jubilee, the Queen made history as Britain's longest reigning monarch earlier this month. After a remarkable 70 years on the throne, she continues to carry out an impressive number of royal engagements. Ever since she was hospitalized in October, there have been heightened concerns about her health. Since then, there have been cancelled events and coronavirus fears after Prince Charles tested positive for the virus. She alluded to mobility problems earlier this week as she met with senior military staff at Windsor Castle, telling them that she can't move and gesturing to her left leg. It is believed that the monarch was just feeling stiff rather than being injured or unwell. Should the Queen wish to relieve herself of the workload, which she is showing no signs of wanting to do, she technically could, but it is extremely unlikely that she ever will. Dr. Ed Owens, a royal historian and commentator, told Express.co.uk that Her Majesty will almost certainly not follow her European counterparts by abdicating the throne. He said, if she was to become very unwell, it might be that, Queen, Elizabeth II essentially retires from all public roles, handing over power and leadership of the monarchy to her successor as part of what is termed a regency. There is more recent precedent for this going back to the late 18th century when George III's eldest son ruled as his proxy due to the monarch's ill health. Dr. Owen speculated that there could be two possible circumstances where a future British monarch may abdicate. He said, I think it is highly unlikely unless a future monarch of Britain is physically unable to perform the role, hence abdication may be considered as an option, or they bring the monarchy into disrepute, for example through some kind of personal scandal, and therefore essentially resign and pass on the role of the monarch in the hope that it will ensure the survival of the crown. Abdication is virtually unheard of in the British monarchy, apart from the notorious example of Edward VIII. Her Majesty's estranged uncle famously abdicated in 1936 to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson. The couple had an affair while she was still married to her second husband, and both the government and church refused to accept her as a potential queen. In Europe, however, there is more precedent for a monarch to abdicate. Dr. Owens said, European monarchs have in the recent past abdicated for a number of reasons. For example, in the Dutch royal family, sovereigns have abdicated in order to pass on the role to the next generation. Their youth means they are better equipped to fulfill the demanding program of engagements and duties required of modern constitutional monarchs in the Netherlands. Meanwhile, in the Belgian and Spanish royal families, monarchs have recently abdicated due to personal scandals and the hope has been that passing on the throne will lead to renewal and ensure the ultimate survival of the dynasty. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, King Albert II of Belgium and King Juan Carlos I of Spain all abdicated between April 2013 and June 2014. Any chance of Queen Elizabeth II doing the same, however, can likely be ruled out by the fact that she vowed to dedicate her life to the crown, alongside the promise she made to God in her commitment to the role. Hugo Vickers, a royal historian, told The Guardian last year, I can assure you the Queen will not abdicate. One main reason why the Queen will absolutely not abdicate is unlike other European monarchs, she is an anointed Queen. And if you are an anointed Queen you do not abdicate. Likewise, fellow royal expert Robert Jobson told Express.co.uk she will never abdicate. He said, the Queen will be the Queen until the day she dies in my opinion. Of course she will.